One effective way to help seniors aging in place is by modifying the environment. One population that benefits greatly from home modifications are individuals with dementia. Setting up the environment in a way that accommodates to people with dementia has been shown to improve behavior, perception of their surroundings, performance in their daily activities, and decrease caregiver stress. Home modifications are adaptations to the environment that are intended to increase use, safety, security, and independence. Strategies for home modifications include renovating the environment or to make it more safe, using assistive devices, rearranging furniture and removing unsafe furniture, removing dangerous household items, using visual cues and memory aids, simplifying tasks, and accommodating to the individual sensory needs. Home modifications are an ongoing process. As the disease progresses, their needs change over time, so the modifications need to accommodate to these needs. Let's discuss some tips and considerations for making the home more comfortable and safe for your loved one. Lighting can help improve their interpretation of their surroundings. A few lighting tips include using natural daylight when able and avoiding dark spaces. Color within the home can help make the environment more pleasant without being too overwhelming. Try to use more neutral colors as base colors throughout the home and incorporate bright accents items for decor. Include different fabrics and materials that can make the home more comforting. Think about things within the home that have different textures such as pillows and blankets. Showering can be one of the least desired tasks for individuals with dementia. One simple consideration is throwing a towel in the dryer and then giving it to the individual once they're done with their shower to make their experience more pleasant with a warm and soft towel. Flooring can be confusing or overwhelming. Try to avoid reflective flooring such as laminate and carpet with wool patterns. Furniture takes up a lot of space within the home, which means that there are many things that should be thought about when selecting appropriate furniture to include within the home. Just a few suggestions regarding furniture are to make sure that the furniture is comfortable and sturdy, Incorporate footrests or ottomans to help your loved one rest and relax. And remove any unsafe or unnecessary furniture. Setting up the home is very important to make sure that the environment is safe and accommodating to your loved one. Make sure to keep the environment consistent. Changing the home setup can cause anxiety and confusion. Avoid any clutter to make sure that the environment is easier to navigate and lock up any potential hazards. The last consideration regarding home modifications for comfort is noise within the environment. If there's music being used throughout the day, be sure to incorporate music at a moderate level. Avoid noises that are distracting when possible. And if there are any noises that are disturbing to the individual, have them watch you engage with the item that's causing any disturbances and explain what you're doing. Lastly, avoid multiple noises at a time when possible just to avoid overstimulation. Another area of focus that is important to consider is how to keep the home more meaningful and familiar to the individual. First, personalize the environment by incorporating things the individual enjoys. This may look like putting plants around the home if they enjoy being outside and planting. This could also look like putting collectible items around the home if collecting items used to be a hobby of theirs. Using signs and photographs is another way to personalize the environment. Using signs can help them navigate their surroundings if they have difficulty finding certain items or rooms and photos can help to make the environment more meaningful and possibly trigger memories. Try to make a memory book and label it with their name to help them understand that the book is about them and their past experiences. Possibly play old videos to facilitate reminiscence. Use everyday objects to trigger memories and conversations. For example, this could be as simple as hanging their favorite hats or a jacket in sight. 
and lastly, encourage them to socialize. Having family and friends can help them feel happiness and potentially trigger past memories with their close ones. The last environmental modification topic that I'll be discussing is how to create a sensory enhanced environment. Sensory needs are not something that's typically thought of or considered when addressing home modifications. However, there are a lot of benefits to creating a sensory enhanced environment for somebody with dementia. Some of the benefits include providing stimulation in a controlled way, positive changes in mood and behavior, especially for individuals at the late stage of dementia, facilitating interaction with others, and it reduces caregiver stress. Primary senses are used to interpret someone's surroundings. So let's discuss each of the primary senses and some examples of important things to think about when it comes to each of these senses. First is tactile stimulation or the touch sense. Sources of stimulation include things such as pillows, furniture, clothing, and objects used as decor within the home. Next is the sense of smell. Some of the sources of stimulation for smell include food, lotion, essential oils, and candles within the home. Taste is another important sense. And sources of stimulation for this sense are mainly food. And this sense is interesting because tasting different foods can trigger memories and emotions. Think about the food the individual currently likes or used to enjoy or cook. One suggestion would be to try soft and creamy food because this is comforting. You can also consider including foods with different textures to provide a variety of sensory input. Next is a sense of hearing that occurs from noises within the environment. A few noise considerations were previously addressed when discussing comfort, but I did want to touch on music again because it's been found to improve behavior and to be very important to individuals with dementia. One specific suggestion would be to try playing stimulating and upbeat music in the morning and calming music in the evening. The last main sense is vision. Different forms of stimulation for vision could include playing simple movies with minimal narration, using items within the home that catch the light in different ways, such as objects made of satin or velvet, and then using nature-based items to decorate the home to give them a sense of being outside. Now that I've reviewed the various senses and how to engage each one, here's an overview for how to incorporate the different senses to be more stimulating or relaxing. Remember, it is key to encourage engagement throughout the day. Multi-sensory experiences support a person's ability to comprehend their surroundings. A good way to encourage multisensory experiences is to use equipment, items, and materials that are multisensory in design. For example, having an individual help cook a meal in the kitchen is a multisensory activity because it incorporates taste, smell, vision, touch, sound, and even movement. The individual can have one simple task for preparation or even keep you company while the meal is being prepared. Allow the individual to engage in sensory stimuli of their choice. Follow their lead and pay attention to their comfort level to find a balance between sensory stimulating and sensory calming activities. Watch for signs from the individual to know what they need from you regarding stimulation. Wandering and looking for something to do or repetitive behavior could mean that they need more stimulation. Presenting as agitated or overwhelmed could mean that they need less stimulation. It's important to remember that everybody is different. So focus on your loved one's interests and needs when setting up the environment to get the best outcomes.